know how I do it. That's the sound of a broken record that just keeps going on and on all day long. Hey man, nice shot. Welcome to home. What can I say? The game just loves me. My name is Sean. So, how long have you been playing for? A couple months, on and off. But some people say I play like LeBron. James, the season begins next week. So, let's see if you can put your money where your mouth is. So, are you going to apply for the office work leadership position? What's office for? Only the most prestigious leadership position at Olney. Seniors are almost guaranteed the job. Oh, really? Uh, you should apply. You don't really seem like you have to follow anyone. Come in. Uh, hello, Tamara. I'm here for office work for you. Yes, have a seat. Office work is an important part of the program at Only Friends School. As you know, each student needs to clean a certain part of the school each day. And an office work grader has the responsibility of checking that that area is cleaned thoroughly you would have the authority to punish students who did not adequately clean their area by giving them a slip. Have you had any experience with this kind of job before, Becky? Um, yeah. Last summer, I cleaned public bathrooms in Montpelier, where I live. And why should we choose you to be office work grader? Well, I don't discriminate against anyone. And I try hard, and every day it will look brand new. And this is a very hard job, especially for a freshman. Do you think you could handle it? I believe I can. Okay. It's been good to talk to you, Becky. We'll get back to you when we make a decision. Sean, I'm a good cleaner. At my old school, I was voted best cleaner. Isn't that enough for me to get the job? Well, I have a few questions for you to evaluate whether you're the best candidate. I'm a senior. I have experience. I get good grades. Isn't that enough for you? We have several candidates and we're assessing them all. Are we done here? Sean, Becky, I have some good news. We've decided who the office work grader will be. After careful consideration, we've chosen Becky. <laughs> Wait, is this a joke? How, how could you possibly choose a frail freshman over someone like me? Well, you know what? I don't even care. I'm, g I'm just going to leave before I blow my lid. shooting average. What, you, you saying that I don't?
Just not do work? Do you think your actions don't have consequences? Well, they do. you step in here? Yeah. I think there's something we need to talk about. Uh, glass is off. You're angry, aren't you? Well, may I say on behalf of the staff that we're angry too. Yes, we've got some standards in this school, and not for no reason. I get that you have a hard time picturing yourself working under a freshman. She's a freshman. You're a senior. She's nine. You're 12. What do those numbers mean? In this case, not much. Freshman and senior doesn't necessarily correlate with who really wants to and who can do the good job. We chose Becky because she clearly wanted the job and demonstrated that she was capable. When you interviewed, what was clear to us was that you came in with some sense of entitlement and that what you really wanted was to start making some underclassmen's lives miserable. Hmm? The way you threw that mop around, it's pretty clear to us that Whatever was on your mind, it wasn't cleaning. In your expression that day, let's just say we could read it. Sean, you made that decision. We just recognized it. He didn't do his job, and now Becky had to go and clean up everything, and now she's in the infirmary being sick. What, what does he think he is? We all should have done all our job. We all have the responsibility to everything. It's not fair that you had to go through this. It's alright. It was good to see if I could try to help someone like Sean, but if I didn't, now look where I am. Come in. your demeanor. It, it was all my fault. From the beginning, the reason you're here in this bed is a result of my actions, of feeling entitled to everything, of being just plain out selfish. I wish I could take it all back. And I know now, and I'll admit now, that you deserve the job that you have. I abused you because I thought that I deserved it, when in all reality I didn't. I hope that you can forgive me, so I can forgive myself. Thank you. 